Man, if I knew I was going to get into a fight, I wouldn't have come here. Oh my god. I, I thought I was just going to come here. I was going to go back, heal up, get my CP back, and then come back. But this is another fight I'm not prepared for. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you alright? What's up guys? This is Snappy Cat, and welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel 4. When we last left off, we'd made our way to Parm, and we managed to find one of our fellow students. We met Pablo. You know, the guy who's completely obsessed with trains. And, uh, we didn't find Tatiana there. He told us that she's on her way to, I think it's called Titus Gate or Titus Gate. I don't know how you pronounce it, but she's on her way there, and it's apparently a military base. Which we find odd for some reason. Like, why is she going to a military base? Apparently she's going there to find a friend of hers. Someone that she knows. And uh, on our way there, you know, we found a trial chest for Altina and Yuna. Yuna got her Altina, got her uh, Brave Order upgraded. It... It's not a very big upgrade, to be honest. Uh, I think it went from like, I don't know what, 10% to 15% or 5% to 15%. Either way, I don't really see it as that big of a boost, honestly. Like, I wish it was a little bit better than that. Let's see, what is it? Evan Crest EX. Four terms, absolute reflect, restores 15% HP EP. Like, like, I don't know what it was before, but I'm pretty sure that, I don't know, it's just... The only thing I can think of that most likely got an increase was the restores the 15% HP EP, and that's not really that big of a boost, to be honest. It's, eh, it's not that big. I mean, if, if the turns went from, like, 4 to 5, I think that would have been a much bigger increase, a, a lot more substantial. Like, Yuna's sledgehammer going from, like, you know, 150 to 250, which I expect it to be maybe 350 when it maxes out. Like, that is significant. Like, going from 150 to 250 is significant. That, that, that's not a small increase. That's pretty big. But, like, 15% 15, 15 HP EP, that's not a lot. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what increased. I don't know. I have to make sure... I don't know. Give me a minute. Alright, so I went back to check Altina's Brave Order, and it was indeed 10% HP and EP. 15% is just not that big. I mean, if it went from 10% to maybe 25%, that would have been, I think, better in my opinion. Like, uh, uh, getting, like, regaining back a quarter of your health and EP, I think, would have been a lot more significant than a boost of 10 to 15. Like, that is not... That is not a lot. Like, I guess we'll be able to see, like, what it will be when it's finally maxed out. Maybe it'll be much better. But going from 10 to 15, that is... that That's nothing. That is... That is... That is nothing. That is not significant enough to be anything, but... Anyway, it... It doesn't really matter. I don't really use it all that much anyway. I mean, it was very good for that trial test. Like, I'll be honest. Like, it was pretty much the lifesaver of that trial. Since the stupid monster, which was basically that thing right down there, but bigger. And it summoned, you know, ads every time it lost like 10% HP, which sucked. But her Brave Order really did save us. It... Protected us from a lot of damage. It, it, it pretty much saved the day. It was a lot more useful than I would have thought it was going to be. 
and it was specifically very useful mainly because we were such a small party it was just the two of us so we didn't use up many turns but I don't know I just wish that the increase was a lot more substantial again Yuna's going from 150 to 250 is substantial Altina's going from 10% HP EP to 15% is nothing. It is it's it's barely an increase. But you know what? We did our trial test. So let's move on. Oh the bus is coming back. Not gonna stop for us though. This bus runs back and forth to Titus Gate. If Tatiana's decided to take it, all our work will be for nothing. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> it's like we're going all the way down here to meet her. Like, I mean, obviously she's gonna be there, but it would definitely suck if we came all the way down here and then she's on the bus back. Like, dude, come on. Don't worry, she wouldn't have left the gate yet. I know it. I didn't see anyone on the bus that looked like her. Damn, you've got some good eyes there, Kurt. Randy, we know you're just testing us. It is fairly obvious, and I believe you know we're aware as well. <laughs> Guess I'm starting to grow into my role as your substitute instructor. It was too high for me to see anything. <laughs> I guess this was a tall student's only test. Let's keep on track. Poor old Tina. We're probably more than halfway to Titus Gate by now. Sounds good. Yeah, it's been like... Like, it has been like two years. Since the, uh... Since the, uh, Civil War. And she's barely grown at all. <laughs> It's like, oh, I've grown like one arch. Like, that, yeah. I mean, yeah, you've grown maybe a little bit, but that's... <laughs> I mean, what, what's it gonna be like five years from now? <laughs> oh, poor Altina. It's like, I remember the bonding event from Milliam. Like in Cold Steel 2. Like, if she's the girl you decided to, like, go to the dorm with, and you give her, like, a nice hug, and it's like... Yeah, I bet you'll be happy when I'm, like, tall and sexy, ha. Huh? <laughs> and it's like, she hasn't grown, like, the least bit. It's like, I was wondering, like, when Code Steel 3 came around, like, oh, what's Milliam gonna look like? Oh, she looks exactly the same. <laughs> it's like, oh, poor Milliam and Altina. It's like, you're just, you're just not meant to grow. It's like, I would like to see them, you know, grow up and mature. It is, it is a very interesting thought, but I guess it's just not meant for them. Or if it is, it's a very slow process, in which case... Well, at least you'll be young for a very long time, but... Again, that runs into, like, its own other problem, like... You know, like... Like, do they have any... Like, are there any drawbacks? To their existence? Like... Are they, like, slowly dying or something like that? Like, do they have, like, you know, an extended youth? Like, like, a hundred years from now, you know, will they be, like, you know, look like, you know, young adults? Or can they even live that long? You know, 20 years from now, you know, can they even live 20 years from now? You know, that's a very interesting thought. Anyway, we got this new enemy right here. Looks like a little nasty <laughs> dragonfly, okay. Ogre fly. Look. It's like I only saw like a dragonfly once in my life, like right in my face, like uh uh. Yeah. Like if they look like this, look, no. Ogre fly. An insect monster that nests on highways. Aided by its giant eyes, it waylays travelers upon the roads. So water. Poison freeze, oh my god. I need freeze so bad. We'll run into it sooner or later, but I need it. 
I just need it. Try this on for size. Crimson Gale! Y'all burn though, that's great. You can't escape! Fire! Now I you got your defenses down, like oh this is going bad for Fiona, you. Activate. Fire. You might die. Fire breath. Oh, were well, you well. dead? All right, where well, you're going next, so that's not my turn. And you should die. There. Yep. Targets eliminated. How was that? Out. Scald reached level three. Increase by up to thirty-five to forty. Yeah. Huh? Oh, gained a new ability. HP regen when battle begins. How HP is low. One turn of 10% HP recovery. Hmm. So when the battle begins, I'll get one turn of HP recovery. And when it's low, I'll also get it. Oh, I can't wait to see that go up. Oh, and look who we have, this nasty fucker. It's powerful. We must ah! powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Now we'll be fine. Golden palm? I'm sorry. Hold on. Golden Palm, a beautiful shiny palm that hides in the shadow of stronger monsters. Contains a great deal of sepith masses. Ooh. A golden palm, huh? Okay. I shall go. Well, let's hurry up and try to kill you then. How? Proud warrior! I shall go. In fact, I'm just gonna go S craft, cause. Fuck it, why not? Now, Let's go. All right, so we got it out of the way. Really? And it's like, of course you take my BP. Eye for an eye. I'll save you. <laughs> Thanks. It's like that's the one thing no, I today. wanted, and you wouldn't took it, asshole. Don't give up. Thank you. My turn. Fine then. Rionac activate. Fire. Get out of here. Let's go. In fact, you know what? Before this wears off, I'm just gonna screw the both of you. Behold. I'll just finish you off. Nice, we did it. All right, let's see what kind of sepith masses we get. Huh? It gave us 184. That's pretty good. And I think it gave us quite a bit of the other ones too. Huh? I wonder what it will be like on higher levels. Oh, look at that guy up there. I remember you. Help Go! It! Don't let up! And let's battle scope. <laughs> Doom Spinner. A giant demonic monster feared even by other monsters. Its venom enters the body and rots flesh, killing in seconds. So you're probably gonna poison the hell out of us. Hopefully not. 
Let's go. Uh, ah! Very well. Break through! Sledgehammer! My turn. It's down. Gotcha. Now. Real Mac activate. Fire. Oh, I thought he'd get both of them. Oh, well. Got it. Oh, wait. Well, the other one's already broken, so it doesn't matter. Try this on for size. Crimson. Get him. Now's our chance. It's mine. Here I go! Time barrier! Break! I love that move so much. Let's go! And I can just keep wrecking you. It's down! Gotcha! Uh. My turn. Fragoroth. Activate Fragoroth! Destroy! There! And you're done. They're mine! Unscathed. Alright! Yes. We rocked it, the Allie. victory is... What you hiding back here? I found some treasure! Holy Sphere. HP 1000, EP 100 prevents death blow. Oh, so it's like Holy Chain, but better. Ah. Eh. That's whatever. And we got another one. It's actually kind of peaceful here. For us being so close to the border and all. Imagine what it must have been like 14 years ago. When the army was storming through the place. You're referring to the Hundred Days War, correct? Let's Uncle go. Uncle Zex's unit came here too. Back when the Orbital shutdown hit four years ago. Curia Balm. And we got one more area down here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here, go to Titus Gate so I can get back there with the uh, fast travel. And then go down there when I can. Whoa. This is really something. Ooh. The borough border, Titus Gate. Titus Gate, the border post between here and the kingdom of the It's even bigger than I imagined, yeah. Well, I mean, it's about as big as I imagined. I didn't know what to expect, though. Well, the Empire did fight a war against them 14 years ago. Though it was more like a one-sided invasion than a war. That's true. Seems there are troops from the armored divisions here. Did you see the marking on their uniforms? Imperial Army of Erebonia. That's the first armored division. They were once in charge of the capital's perimeter defense. Must be something big that's brought them here. Let's try and find Tatiana. Maybe she can tell us something that'll explain what's going on. There's a rest area for civilians over there. Let's take a look. Hey, maybe I won't have to fast travel back. Hmm? It's a message from Rex at the Imperial Chronicle. Prompt as ever, I see. What's the message say? Let's see. Sender, Rex. Subject, I need a favor. 
There's something I need to ask you as a friend of Vivi's. Or Vivi's. I think it's Vivi? I think they call it Vivi. Can you help take on some of her responsibilities? You may know already, but she was in charge of the cultural section here. But now that she's suddenly gone missing, all of her work's fallen onto my desk. Could you take some pictures of any unusual places you come across and send them to me? Ah, I remember doing something like this in the last game. If you're okay with it, I have a request for the first photo. I went over to Titus Gate just now to try and take some photos. But those uptight guards wouldn't let me get close enough. Could you go and get an impactful photo of the Titus Gate from a low angle? P.S. If you help me out, I'll give you guys something nice. Now that I think about it, Vivi asked Instructor Rain to do this too. He sounds very distressed. I don't mind helping him if we can. Hmm, he seems nice, but he's kind of a stranger. <laughs> I'm more interested in finding out what a reward he's got for us. I still think it's weird. I hope he's not having us take creepy photos. Yes, let's not assume anything. We should just take photos in turns for now. Press L2 with an action button to access the different features of the action menu. L2 plus circle opens the Arcus 2 menu, where you can report the progress of various subjects or objectives. You can find scenic picture spots by exploring different places. When you find a scenic picture spot, press L2 plus square to open the Arcus menu and report its Rex. Huh. So it's not like last time where you just go to the spot and they take the picture for you. Maybe I do. I don't know. It's like I forget what the map button is. Alright, there it is. Is that it? Hold on. So we got two things here. Ah, okay, so this is it. Let's try and get a photo of Titus Gate. He wanted one taken from a low angle. It should be impactful. I think this would be a good spot. Alright, so it's pretty much just like in the last game then. Excellent. Let's send it to Rex when the opportunity arises. Yeah, and now I gotta remember to report it, otherwise I won't get the credit for it. Should I send the photo data to Rex? Hey, how's it hanging? Let me take a peek at the goods. Whoa, not bad. Here's a little something for your troubles. Photo of Elise. Ah, uh, yeah. I was just about to say, like, I remember... Like, Vivi would always give us... <laughs> uh... Pictures of like, you know, all the cute girls. This is the special award you mentioned? Yeah. That's a pretty nice photo. Top quality stuff? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Could you imagine if Reen were here? Oh my god. I wish he had given us this picture when Reen was with us. I would have loved to have seen his reaction. Like, what would his reaction be? Like, taking pictures of my little sister, huh? Like, would it be like... Like, would it be aggressive? Or would it be like, oh, I'll just keep this? <laughs> it's a well-taken picture from an objective standpoint. That's Instructor Reen's sister, Elise. How did you get this? Sorry, got an urgent job. Gotta be on my way. See you later. <laughs> What a slippery guy. But he doesn't seem to have ill intentions, at least. Yeah, his rewards are questionable, but I guess there's no harm in lending him some more help. Yeah, and it increases our unity, so... Maybe I misheard, but... Did they just say the first armor division's gonna hold field exercises in the neutral zone? Bleh. No way, right? If they really did that, there's no way LeBro would stay quiet about it. 
But yeah, I do remember him, like... Now, he always took pictures of girls. But they were always... Appropriate. Like, they weren't, like, he didn't consent... To take their picture, but they weren't illicit. First Armored Division's an elite force tasked with protecting the Empire. What purpose would a unit like that be here for? Well, either way, the remaining two divisions are scheduled to arrive soon. You should be careful that you don't obstruct the Armored Division and their operations. This is Titus Gate, a checkpoint along our border with Liberal. You'll need to inquire with the Bordeaux official if you want to cross into the borough. What Calvert did to the Courageous was downright despicable. I used to run the inn at Legram, but I was unable to forgive the Republic for taking away Toval and Viscount Arsade. I was desperate for revenge. The draft card from the Imperial Defense Force and Legram couldn't have come at a better time. No matter how small the contribution, I'm honored to have had a hand in avenging the Viscount. He appears to be from Laura's hometown. His manner of speech indicate he's under the influence of the Great Twilight. Hmm, yep. It's like, wow, that's more involved for, like, someone you're just talking to. The First Armored Division was granted the responsibility of defending the capital. It's said that the collaboration between our armored regiments and our infantry regiments are considered top class among the entire army. But when it comes to overall battle capabilities, word is that we don't match the fourth. We can't be seen as inferior to any other division, for the honor of the first. We'll accomplish more than any others during the war. Long time no see. Wait, aren't you the guy who lent us horses when we were in our op special ops missions? Nine's Riding Club. That's us. Nice to see you again. Yes, we're glad to see you're doing well. I recently heard something about horse racing being banned. Yeah, I guess we won't be able to like do any horse betting. Like, I remember having a rant about that in one of the previous parts. Like, come on, dude. Like, you're gonna make me place a bet, and you're gonna make me place a bet this small? Like, a hundred Mira Reen? Come on, dude. Wait, bet more than that. <sighs> it must be difficult for members of Nines. Indeed, we won't be able to race again until the war is over. But I'm taking this as an opportunity to get some training in. I don't know why they would ban this though. Why? Keep spirits up. That is the most important thing during a, during a crisis like this, is to keep spirits up. Let people bet. Let people gamble. Come on. Unless you're using the horses for something, which I doubt. We have cars and motorcycles for a reason. Well, I guess people are probably being conscripted anyway, so it probably wouldn't matter. Or people are joining the army, so yeah. Just today we rode along Parm by Road as part of our training. But even that just doesn't quite cut it, you know? It's difficult to have a real outlet now that racing's been banned. I want to lose myself with the wind running through my hair. I know exactly what you mean. Well, let's rest for a moment. We've been at it for hours. How do you mention it? I'm pretty hungry. Let's get some food. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. If you like, you could take our horses out for a ride. We have many horses other than Kaiser Dice here. All of them need the exercise. It'd be a huge help for us if you could take them out. Well, in that case... It's been a while. Yeah, it feels a little nostalgic. It'd make moving along the roads easier. It'll save us from sore feet. Old horses from Nine's Riding Club. You can now ride horses along the highway. Riding horses. Speak to many, any member of Nine's Riding Club to access their horses in that particular location. Be on the lookout for Nine's members whenever you wish to set out on your horseback. In certain areas, press L2 plus square to ride a horse. Press circle to dismount the horse and press square near the horse to change ride settings. If the party does not have any horses, they'll need to borrow or rent from somewhere. To battle monsters, you must come in contact with them or approach them and press X. Assault attacks cannot be used. I can't wait until we get motorcycles though. That's what I really want. I mean, not that there's a difference between the two, but eh. 
Holding field exercises in the neutral zone is basically the same as declaring war, so... I must have heard wrong, right? I wonder, have I talked to you? I probably did. Titus Gate. I haven't been here since the Hundred Days War. Hard to believe it's been 14 years now. My memories of the attack we launched from there are still crystal clear. But this is no time to dredge up the past. We should prepare for the remaining two divisions' arrivals. The first armored division will be arriving at Titus Gate for field exercises in the neutral zone today. Know the reason why it's classified. Now that these orders came from HQ. They would like the patrolmen to assist in the field exercises as much as possible. In the neutral zone? Precisely. You may have your doubts, but rest assured there are good reasons for it. I assume you have no objections, Sergeant Major? No, sir. W wait, isn't the neutral zone... There is an area of neutrality along the border that functions as a demilitarized zone, correct? Yeah, I think so. If they perform field exercises there, wouldn't it basically be considered a declaration of war against Liberal? Yes, under normal circumstances. But there is a chance the Empire has already made a request for Liberal's cooperation. Well, either way, this will probably put a lot of pressure on them. Tch. Something about this bothers me. We should come back for more intel if we get the chance. Whoa! Oh, look who it is! Huh? I don't see Tatiana anywhere. I'm sure we must have passed each other without noticing. Let's try and take a look around. A girl in a blue uniform? It's possible I saw a girl like that. Or maybe it was just my imagination. Hmm, but I do remember a reporter called Rex coming here. I don't often see orbital cameras, so it was a real delight to have my photo taken. He may just be collecting information, but it feels as though he has another agenda. To be fair, it's not like we really know the guy. But uh, yeah, he definitely gives off a real sleazy vibe. A blonde girl with her hair and buns? I'm sorry, I haven't seen her. I have a lot of orders come in and I'm rather busy. My daughter Issy knows a lot more about our customers than I do. But she's always been a little ditzy. Alright, well, let's get this food. You tried to recommend a dish. Memorize the recipe for luxurious cheese Doria. We should probably rest. Ice speed mode does nothing. <sighs> a good break. Ah, so it does increase it by 200, okay. Oh, nothing else here. Young woman. Munch. Oh, this rich, cheesy fragrance is positively irresistible. Now, as for these... <clears throat> My, they're all so delicious. Seems like she's busy eating. That's a lot of food for one person. She looks really focused. It shouldn't bother her right now. I'm pretty sure I know who you are. I forget your name. But I am almost positive I know you. And if you are who I think you are... My goodness. What kind of training program did you go under? Like, wow, you looking slim. Gotta train more to eat more. Anton. <sighs> why, oh why, do the border checks have to take a whole day? Hope she's okay. I wonder what she's doing. Shushins. <sighs> Who's <Shushins? laughs> Who's 
That was a really big sigh. <laughs> I swear, Tina just always has this look on her face like, I am not amused. It's like, that's a lot of food for one person. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Altina. You have no chill, do you? Huh. I swear I've seen this guy somewhere before. Uh, hey, are you okay? You seem wiped out. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry for worrying you. I'm Anton. I'm a tourist from Liberal. It's just, uh, all these hoops I need to jump through to cross the border have really taken it out of me. Why would you try to come to the Empire when the situation is as it is? News on conflict with the Republic must have reached the Burl. Yeah, I know what I'm doing makes no sense at all. I've actually been corresponding with a special someone in the Empire for about a year and a half. But lately I haven't received any letters from her. The last time she wrote, she begged me to forget her. As if I could. I shook off my pal Ricky, who was trying to stop me, and took off. I came across one of those huge tanks on the way, which scared the hell out of me. On the way? Do you mean the neutral zone between the two countries? As in the neutral zone between us and the gate on the liberal border? I'm pretty sure there shouldn't be any tanks in that area, though. That's what I thought, too. Things are on the edge at the Hagen Gate, too. I don't really get the feeling that Liberal and Erebonia are going to war. That's pretty concerning. But I understand why you would want to check that this special person is safe. Yeah, me too. I don't think you should stay long, but I'll be rooting for you. Don't worry about me, I'll find out what happened to her. It's nice to be reminded that there's still no shortage of kindness in Erebonia. That girl wearing the blue uniform also stopped to talk to me too. Ah! A blue uniform? Did, did she have blonde hair? Yes, that's her. Is she a friend of yours? She was over there with one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen. Hey, do you have a minute? Anton, was it? Care to explain your reason for entry on this documentation form here? Just what are you getting at? A reason? Why, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, could you be talking about the for love part? I was merely being honest. Is there a problem with that? I don't understand why you wouldn't see the problem. We have rules. We'll be taking you for secondary screening. Oh, wow. What? You can't be serious. Are you traveling with them? I'm afraid I'll have to ask you all to come with him too. What? No way! We can't waste any time here. What the hell are we gonna do? Dear me! You're here earlier than I expected. Oh my god. It is totally her. Wow, okay. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Are you serious? She went from thin to thick in like two seconds. <laughs> wow. Okay. Whatever do you mean? I've been here the entire time, enjoying a lovely little meal over at the counter. Yeah, it's so we are. Margarita, yep. <laughs> it is I, Margarita Dresden, heiress to the Dresden Barony. I am here today to check on a delivery of roses, a gift preferred by the Empire to the Kingdom of Laburl. Oh my goodness. Like, wow, she packed it away quick. It's like, wow, she, <laughs> get what you went from thin to thick, like, whoa. Like, how do you put it all away? How do you burn it all away? That's what I want to know. And these are the civilians I hired for help. I'll gladly vouch for their character. Oh, thank you. Who the heck is she? What is she talking about? 
I did notice a woman having a meal over there. This feels planned somehow. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm very sorry, miss. In that case, they may pass. However, we will still need to hold a secondary screening for the liberal lover boy. Huh? You say, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? Please, no! <laughs> hmm, yeah, I've definitely run into that guy somewhere. Maybe two years ago in Crossbell? Yeah, he's probably a recurring character, because I definitely remember seeing him in the previous Cold Steel games. It looks like we are in the clear now. Um, Miss Margarita, right? I think we owe you a thank you. Oh, it's no trouble at all. You are Thor students, after all, are you not? Uh, how did you know? Are you a student of Thor's? Let us start from the beginning. I am Margarita Dresden, a graduate of the main campus. I graduated the same year as Reen. It is wonderful to meet you, youngster students. Never thought I'd see her again, but boy am I happy. Whoa, I would never have guessed you and Instructor Reen were the same age. Um, perhaps this is a strange question, but were you eating over there? Well, I never. Seems you and those guards back there share a similar sense of humor. The food here is so delicious, I may have overindulged a tad. But as you can see, it hasn't affected my beauty one bit. <laughs> it may be best not to investigate any further. Y yes, I quite agree. So, the alumni are starting to make their moves too, huh? For everyone who's gone missing, the ever graduates and instructor Reen. Vivi too. In fact, since the Great Twilight began, Mint, Lind and everyone else have just straight up disappeared. You can add Ferris and Patrick to that little list of yours. They were in Heimdall at the time as well. That's why we have split up into different regions to collect any information on them that we can. The information exchange with Tatiana is a part of that. I see. So Tatiana's connection was Margarita? Yes, our families have long been friends. After exchanging information, she returned to Parm, but... But... Is everything okay? Yes, it's just... She had this look on her face like something else was on her mind. It seems she met someone she thought she knew on her way here. She said that it was a friend who had been in the same club as her. Ash? Ash is the only other person I can think of. I mean, I like to think there was one other person, but... I think you only needed like a club if you had like two people. So it's like Kurt and Signy had like a chess club. I'm pretty sure it was Ash. Someone in the same club as Tatiana? Could it be? Yeah, Ash. Like, I don't remember anyone else in the club. Yuna and the others bid farewell to Margarita, who still had business at... <laughs> business. Who still had business at Titus Gate. They resumed their activities once they got in contact with Kyrie and Pablo. Can't believe we picked up his trail here of all places. Ash. Oof. The Hamo tragedy 14 years ago had been buried in the Empire's shadows and forgotten. Is he truly its third survivor? I knew about the other two. One of them was even an acquaintance of mine. Man, it might be a little late to say this, but that kid's got one hell of a backstory. The ruins of Hamel are located in the province of Sutherland. 
It hasn't been confirmed, but the likelihood that Ash is there is quite high. We haven't seen him since the Emperor was shot. Hard to believe he's somewhere that close. We still don't have any clues about the Singularity. But I think we should go find him. I agree with Yuna. I believe the other members of Class 7, including Instructor Reen, would think so as well. Yes. We need to hear what happened, then directly from Ash. It could set him free, even if we're the only ones who forgive him for what he's done. You guys. He used to be part of Class 8. So I can't say I haven't been worried about him. <laughs> Maybe it was fate me getting dragged to Aaron with you. Yeah, well, that's that. We're going to Hamo, everybody. An abandoned road leading to an abandoned mountain pass. It's been closed off, but we should see for ourselves. Alright, so we're on our way to... Hamo. Looks like we might have some new dialogue here as well. He didn't look like a spy, but what was going on with that man they were hauling away? Come on, don't sweat it. That food in there isn't going to eat itself, you know. I got it. I'll put the lead on. Just wait a minute. Listen up. The 1st Armored Division will be arriving soon at Titus Gate for field exercises in the neutral zone. Accordingly, you will be heading out to assist as patrolmen. If I may, sir, should we really be performing field exercises in the neutral zone? Wouldn't a stunt like this only worsen diplomatic relations with Liberal? Does Supreme Commander Van Dyck know about this? <clears throat> this is all according to General Headquarters strategy. It is not our place to question it. We will abide by the orders given. Do we know what the plan is for tomorrow? Yes, sir. We'll be stim- We'll be simulating a pincer attack in the neutral zone. We'll use this exercise to train the new recruits under the command of Sergeant Major Zolms. Very well. The neutral zone offers excellent visibility, seeing as it's mostly flat ter terrain. I look forward to watching the new recruits improve as soldiers and behave as an army. Looks like some pathetic civilian was taken away just now. What's going on? I would cut them down without a thought if it turned out they were a Calvardian spy. Alright then, we're on our way to Hamel. Alright, so... Oh yeah, I said I was gonna go down here. It's down! Gotcha! Nice one, Kurt. No, you I was only following fight. your lead. Alright. That could have gone worse. Oh, a treasure chest. Golden Sphere R. Ha! And some food. Alright. So we're gonna rest up. Oh, there's more to talk about. Fatigue removed. Ah, I see. So you're all Tina. I'm so sorry about what happened to Milliam. Milliam told me all about you, you know. She was always so excited to share stories about her adorable little sister. She did? Were... were you close with her? Oh yes, we were fellow members of the cooking club at school. She was such a bold chef, marching to the beats of no one's drum but her own. She showed me the real possibilities food had to offer. I'm afraid to ask you to elaborate on what you mean by possibilities. <laughs> Milliam has some unconventional ideas when it comes to cooking. But of course, the girl followed her heart in life and cooking alike. I only wish I could fulfill the promise I made to her. What promise? 
As fellow members of the cooking club, we promised that we would work together to make a dish the likes of which no one has ever tasted. But with things as they are now, it may no longer be possible to do so. Melian really said that. Um, Margarita, is there anything I can do to help you keep that promise? Ali, now that you mention it, <laughs> it all makes sense now. Perhaps this is Adios's. Bleh. Perhaps this is Adios telling me that I should see Milliam's dream to its completion. And if that is the case, then that is exactly what I will do. From here on out, would you be willing to bring me any peculiar dishes you make? Peculiar dishes? You know those strange meals you make sometimes when your cooking goes wrong? Precisely. I'm sure dining on the unusual dishes you've made will be just the inspiration I need. It would only be a matter of time before I conceive and concoct a meal that no one has ever dreamed of. <laughs> I remember doing that in uh, Cold Steel 2. I don't think I did it though. Or maybe I did. Like, I do remember that quest, but I don't remember whether or not I did it. I th I'm, I'm almost certain I did. That does stand to reason. Understood. We'll bring you any peculiar dishes we accidentally make. Or purposefully, in this case. I'm so excited to get started. You can now offer peculiar dishes to Margarita. And she might give us some stuff for it, too. And I know we have horses, but I kind of don't want to. Like, I don't know whether or not it'd be as precise as, uh, running. But, uh, look at this! The gate's open! Hey, look at that! It's open. There are scratches around the keyhole. From the looks of it, someone forced the lock open with a wire, such as those used for lockpicking. Lockpicking, huh? Gee, I wonder who that was. Sheesh, that punk's got a bunch of tricks up his sleeve. If the smaller footprints are Tatiana's, then you might be onto something. Alright, let's... Uh. Oh, it's a singularity this way? Well, that's convenient. The pendulum's reacting. Does that mean there's a, something up ahead? I don't know, but we should be careful just in case. Yeah, I haven't saved in like a while, so uh, let's do that. Alright, let's move on. Oh, we got black grass. Pleroma grass? It's just like at the old field exercise camp. The very air here is charged too. I surmise that something has activated the higher elements. You think maybe... Nah, never mind. We'll circle back to that later. Yeah, right now we have to find Ash and Tatiana. Let's go, Kurt. Allie. Understood, right. We got a little... Orbital charging station. We got this nasty darkness over here. Looks like it's gonna be a while before we make it to Hamel. Bunch of new enemies too. Looks like a real <laughs> tough one. <laughs> An opening! Bite plant. Yeah. Bite plant. Carnivorous plant with a conspicuous red mouth. It feasts on more than just insects. Very well. Looks like you don't like being burned. Get out of here. Got it. I hear you don't like fire. Try this on for size. Crimson Gale. Mm. <laughs> no problemo. Get out of my face.
All right, asshole. The young guard. It's strong. Oh, I got some more new enemies. Damn it. All right. Well, oh, first. Uh, ah! I am turn. taking that zero order thing or zero arts. Thank you. I'm gonna sledgehammer it Very up. Well. And uh Yeah. Get fucked. Strike. There. Gotcha. Ah. Uh. Now. I gotta analyze all three of you two. Oh, well, it shouldn't be that bad. But we got zero order or zero arts. Okay, not too bad. Got it. All right. Try this on for size. Crimson. Get him. They're off guard. It's mine. Now. Very well. All right, let's battle scope. Oh no, not you. Since uh, this is not going to end well. Ah, there. Gotcha. It's my turn. Time barrier. My turn. All right, detect. Search mode activate. Scan complete. Hamel Kong, an elusive primordial monster that few have witnessed. It's rumored to have arms that can pulverize large trees. Here I go. And we got a zero order. How? Proud warrior! Got it! About time. Knocked him right into next week. Nice. And we got an attack plus one. Or attack one, I should, should say. Whoo! Baby! Some treasure! Impede one. Ooh, that's good to have. Don't know who I'd put it on though. Hmm. Speed plus four. Where is this? Impede. The only ones who really need impede will be people who don't have impede moves. So. I could probably sacrifice a little bit of this defense for the possibility of an impede. Yeah. The advantage. Look at that. We got zero arts. Why wouldn't I? Let's do this. My turn. And battle scope. Huh. Bomb grass, a plant monster that evolved in a surprising manner. Its seeds contain spores that sting the eyes. I was thinking you might blow up or something. Very well. Like that'd be terrible. There, there. Gotcha. My turn. Yeah, now. They're mine. Here I go. Ha! Knocked him right in the next week. like a real tough one. Uh, last time 
we were here, we had the Draken to help us out, at least. The monsters around here have definitely gotten stronger since then. Perhaps they're okay. affected by the Black Maroma grass. Ha! They're in disarray! No, oh, just one. Eh? Feeler Blob. A blob monster born from puddles. It dissolves enemies with tentacles. Most attacks are ineffective against it. My turn. Hmm. I shall go. Charging. Got it. It's my turn. Say like, nope. This is it. Yeah. One more. I'll finish it. <laughs> well, look at that. I say, nah, I saw that critical coming up. You ain't taking that. Ha! Ha! Locked and loaded! Oh, a treasure chest. Saintly Force R. Don't, don't come any closer! Uh-oh. That voice! It came from over there. Hey, Tatiana, military finance. Hey, I can't keep fighting. Everyone, please, Ash. Tatiana, there. Hey, ha! Yuna, Instructor Randolph. Man, if I knew I was going to get into a fight, I wouldn't have come here. Oh my god. I, I thought I was just going to come here. I was going to go back, heal up, get my CP back, and then come back. But this is another fight I'm not prepared for. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you alright? You've done a great job. Leave the rest to us. Everyone battle stations. Let's do this. Right. I am not Powerful ready enemy. for this. Exercise caution. <sighs> Not today. Oh my god. Right. Uh, I did not I did not I would have I would have liked if there was an exclamation point to let me know, okay, something's going to happen. Okay, I came to the new area. Now I can go back. I can heal, then come back. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You can't escape. Fire! Wide open. Alice's. My turn. No, you need to heal. Ha! Don't give up! Thank you. And blindness. Not God today. damn it. I shall go. Like another something I wish I could have prepared for. I didn't say before coming here, so it's like, oh my god. My turn. There, got it. 
Try this! Sun, now's our chance! It's mine! Here I go! Bitch. Detailed information obtained. Bite Plant King. Carnivorous plant with three hungry mouths. More vicious and insatiable than normal bite plants. It craves human flesh. <coughs> Let's go. I shall go. There, there. They're mine. All right. Ha! Here I go. <coughs> Now's our chance. It's mine. <coughs> My turn. Oh, this fight isn't going too badly. I mean, if it was an actual boss fight, I'd probably be a lot more disappointed. Well, not disappointed, but more... My emotions will be a lot higher right now. This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. My turn. Like, it, it's definitely doable. Stealth mode. Activate. <laughs> Eye for an eye. Here I go. Yes. Got it. How proud warrior. My turn. Try this. Right. Gail. Oh, if I knew we were gonna get broken. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Wide open. Yes, we the victory it, is ours. All right. Yeah, it's not like that magic knight I ran into that I wasn't anywhere near prepared for. Phew, looks like you aren't injured. Are you okay, Tatiana? I I'm fine. I'm just so glad you guys are okay. I didn't think I'd ever see you all again. I can't believe you came out here alone. It was good we made it in time to help. They explained the situation to Tatiana. Oh, so you came here for Ash. I thought I saw him from the bus, about halfway to the gate, but it was only for a second. You stopped by and found this, right? Hector Mark II. It's like, yeah, he definitely... Like, he was definitely on the Pantagruel. Saw his mech there and then just, like, took the fuck off. <laughs> like, come on, Ash. Well, I mean, I guess that's to our benefit since we find since we found him, basically. You know, assuming he's here, which, I mean, if his mech is here, then, again, he definitely saw it. He definitely took it with him, so he has to be here. He wouldn't leave this behind. It's gotta be one of ours. Like that dragon from before. And it looks like someone's used it recently. Guess that's how he got here. Ash. We'll have to leave it here for now. Tantiana, do you mind waiting a while? We'll get Kyrie and Pablo to come pick you up. What? No, I want to come with you. You're in no condition to fight. You need to take some time out to recuperate. Don't worry, we can handle it. Please trust us. It is in our hands. When we do this, it'll be in your name as well. We will not fail. All right. Class seven, the rest is up to you. Keep it up, guys. What's left of Hamo is just up ahead. Got it. Oh, I like Tatiana. I really wish I could tag along with everyone and provide backup. But with things as they are, I'd only be a burden. Um, if everyone could look out for Ash, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> you got it, Tatiana. Just leave it to us. Yeah, I guess I can't... ...teleport here anyway, so I might as well just go back 